Yeah. Okay. Down there. How are you guys doing tonight? We're good. Where are you guys coming yeah, from? The Underground. Underground? Yeah? Yeah. Have you had anything to drink tonight? Yes, I did. Yes, I'm you did? Lie. I'm not going to lie. Yeah? I had some drinks too, but I also fucked up my knee. Uh-oh, that's not good. Okay. So. And you've been the only driver of the vehicle, right? Yes, I think I saw you pull in those parking spot. Okay. Um, how many drinks did you have? I had two drinks. Two drinks? You That's know what they were? Gun. Yeah, I do. I know what I drink. What'd you drink? Bacardi, Silver, and Coke. And how long ago did you drink those? Oh. Well, we shot up. What time is it? Um, it's 2.24 now. We shot up at 11.30. Okay. And she spaced them out more than I did. Yeah. Okay. I guess my concern is your eyes are pretty glassy and bloodshot, and your, your speech is a little slurred. So I'm just concerned that you know you're not really fit for driving this vehicle. Do you understand? Can I can can I try calling a driver then? You know, I think I'd appreciate if you stepped out of the car and I just made sure you were able to to drive by doing some voluntary field sobriety tests. Would you be willing to do some voluntary field sobriety tests? If it's not ABCs, I cannot do ABCs backwards. It's not ABCs backwards. Ever, I can never. I can barely say. Them. I'm be honest with you now. Do you think, uh, or do you think you're under the influence of alcohol? Do you think you're safe to drive right now? I am under the influence of alcohol, but okay. I'm okay to drive. Okay, well, would you be able to do a series of voluntary field sobriety tests to prove that? Again, they're, they're not ABCs, <laughs> so I think you might be able to do them. <laughs> no, I couldn't. <coughs> I, I'm, I'm literally telling you. Forward, I cannot. I drop. Every other letter, and then yeah. So th we we won't be doing any ABC tests. So what are you gonna do? Um, there's like a walk and turn. I gotta check your eyes and a, a one leg stand test. Would you be well, able to do those? She, she so my a, my she, eyes. I'm gonna tell you with my eyes right now. I have arthritis in my back. So like your flashlight. Your flashlight right now. Okay. Because yeah, I, I understand. have. So are you what, are you gonna I be? I have arthritis. That's it's. Uh, uh, the arthritis. Okay. Well, what's? Stop, the, Katina. I have I just, itis too. Okay. Yes. To where I go blind in one eye. Gotcha. And then you're shining it there. I'm like. Okay. Freaked out that I'm gonna well, like. Do you go have your license, eye. registration, insurance? Oh, I do. Okay. My driver's license and my purse. Okay. Registration. She's gonna get it out. You, uh, so you're pulling it. I watched you pull into the parking spot. Okay. No. Uh, I'll pull them both out, even. Yeah. That's my daughter's. It's her ID. I just There's need yours. Mine. There's my registration. Are you candy? Yes, I am candy. Where's my phone? My phone is my... Um, Geico, I'm under Geico. Four, pull but if you, you pull it back, you'll see one of them. But I think that one's out. Last of Jefferson, John, Edward, Frank, Frank, Edward, Robert, Sam, Ocean, Nora, first of Candy, Charles, Adam, Nora, David, Young, Manolo, L, Louise, 031972. Candy. 72. So I, I wasn't. So, were you refusing to, to do the voluntary field sobriety tests? I will, yes. You're, you're refusing to do them? Okay. Would you be willing to provide a PBT sample? No, I won't no? do that. No? Okay. Like I said, I could call for a driver. It would turn my car off. Why would you step outside the car? I'm sorry, I wanted. Okay. That's my bubble. You're fine. <coughs> One five. You can close the door. So you're going to be under arrest or DUI, okay? So turn around. Push your hands behind your back. Are you serious? No, wait, 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 wait. Please don't. I have arthritis in my back and you're like hurting my. Okay. Thank you. Ow.
This one's too tight. It, that one's fine. I just checked for proper No, fit. no, no, no. It is too tight. It, it's you're not. hurting me. You're it's hurting. Not. You're hurting my. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna walk you to my car. I'm gonna tell okay. you right now. This one is. Can you I will this check one? for proper fit. That's fine. And that's but you it's need, fine. You need to have. It's to, fine. No. You're okay. Not we're gonna walk to my car. Candy, we're gonna walk to my car. You still have to loosen the left one. It's, no, it, they, I checked for proper fit and double and double. Up. It's still, it might be, but I have arthritis. I'm telling you, my arthritis you is like doors. it hurts. Can you just please loosen the my I've right one? Is okay. them. My gonna, left one is not. It's I've already checked tight. them. Just relax but your hands and they're proper just, fit. Just loosen the left one a little bit. Just a little bit. That's all I'm asking. I'm not going to resist risk. I understand. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just no, double lock it to make sure it doesn't better. pop on you. Okay. No, I did. Can you go have a seat in my car, please? Mm -hmm. You're going to have to help me get up because I got my left. I got you. Candy, we do have body cameras recording, okay? That's fine. I don't care. Candy, I'm going to read you your, your Miranda rights, okay? Because I got. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. I do have, and I can prove to it as my. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I read you your Miranda rights? You I have a hurt? bad left knee. Okay. Can and I, I'm going to read you these rights and then we can talk, okay? And you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand these rights as I explained to you. I do. Okay. But again, because you got you got me buckled in, can you? Because I can't. No, the handcuffs have to stay on. But no, okay. can you just loosen them a little no, bit? No, they, they, I checked for proper fit. I've already loosened them. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, are you serious with my... Uh, I'll prove Kenny, to do you. you think, with, uh, do you think alcohol no. has affected your ability to drive tonight? I'm just asking you to help me with my arthritis in my right back. Now. Well, I'll I'll add another I just cup need on to okay. loosen them a little bit. Is there any property you want to go with you to the jail, like a phone, anything like that? Yeah. 
I should probably have my phone. Yeah? So where's your phone at in the car? My daughter knows where my phone is at. Okay, do you want to get a middle. purse as well? Do you want the purse to come with you too? I don't care about my purse. Okay, we'll get the phone. Unless you want my nope. driver's license, I, have your driver's I don't license. care. Are you fucking kidding me? Three ball, two, three ball. Kill me. Welcome to three hit one. This is the road in Playbook. Could you contact State and ask if the unit that's of it was that mahogany, if they would go on I-5 between Northwest and Bakerview? John Colton. Good one. <laughs> oh my god. Scan it, but I will uh, call it there. 371 is in route to recover. Four ball, two, four ball, and I reached the uh, I-5. There's a safety unit in the left. The warrant is for FDA and Elmish. He's a convicted felon. Hit his driving status. It's a senator. I see you there. On I-5, just south of Fremont. Uh, state said they had a unit at Maplewood and Bakerview, and then another one at Bakerview and Pack Highway there. My car is going to make a home okay, right? So your car is going to stay there. Um, your daughter and was what's is that another relative or is that um a friend? Just a friend. Your daughter and friend are going to be getting a ride because they cannot drive that car. That's fine. I don't care. But shipyard and My partner's gonna figure that out. Okay. My car needs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I take care of night people. Where's my parents? 4415, location change. 4415. That's Kenny. You're not gonna arrest my daughter, right? No, you were the only one driving the vehicle, correct? Yes. You said you were, you were at the Royal tonight? Okay. So you pretty much made it from the Royal? Okay, well, when I get to the jail, I'll check your hand, your handcuffs, okay? Um, so... Oh, I'm not driving in a hurry. I'm going the speed limit. So, I don't know. No, I don't. I'm sorry. So, so did you drive? Did you make it? Did you make it from the Royal to where you were stopped? Is that what happened? Yes. Yeah. Only because there was a big fight. There was a big fight. There's a lot of fights down there.
candy. We're gonna get inside and take those handcuffs That's off for you, okay? I'm gonna get those handcuffs off for you once we get in there. I know. I heard, right, can you step on out on your own? Are you okay on your own? You need help. I got you. Okay. So step right here. Don't step on the yellow. Do not step on the yellow. Because the door's gonna open right there. Okay, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna turn right in the open, open, open door. Candy, we're on that way. Thank you. All right, just stand right there. I'll take the handcuffs off. See on the blue chair. Okay, so it's a bunch of paperwork we gotta do. First things first is I need to check your mouth. Can you open your mouth, please? And then lift up your tongue. Okay. That is at I'm going to read you your rights again. I know I read them in the field. Okay. okay, are you ready, Candy? I'm listening. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. You arrive at this time to an attorney. Anything you say can, can will be used against you in a court of law. If you're under the age of 18, Anything you say can be used against you in a juvenile court prosecution for a juvenile offense and can also be used against you in an adult court criminal prosecution if the juvenile mm -hmm. court decides that you are to be tried as an adult. You have the right to talk to an attorney before answering any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. If you can afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost if you so desire. You can exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Okay. Can you sign here saying you understand these rights? Right there. Um, would you like to speak to your attorney at this time? Yeah. You would? Okay. Hi, this is Alfred Video about on police. I'm trying to reach the public defender's office. Cool. Um, I have Candy Jefferson here. She's requesting an attorney. She's being arrested for DUI. Right. Would you like to speak with her right now? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. There you go, Candy. I will step out of the room so you can speak. Just let me know when you're done, okay? How do I know? To let yeah, one, know I'll be just outside that door. You can wave at me through the window. Okay. Hello? Hi. 
Candy, you done? They're what? What are they doing, Candy? Connor? Uh, yes, we are done. I, uh, I finished the conversation. Okay. Okay, Connor, can I? Connor, can I get your uh, your last name? And then this phone number for a contact phone number? Uh, yeah. Okay. And um, what was your client in, invoking her rights for silence? I don't know. You're going to have to ask her. Okay. Okie dokie. Connor, thank you much. Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Um, Kenny, um, after speaking with attorney, um, do you wish to speak with me? No. No? Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what are you apologizing for? I'm really terrified and I'm scared because... No, you're, you're okay. Kenny, everyone... No, I'm not okay. I'm not. I, I understand that this is a very, like, traumatic experience. Um... <sighs> I used to work here. It's it's not as terrible as a place that is as it's. <laughs> You're like I used to work here. No, you, you never be mean as an indigenous person. I got threatened by a man to abort my child. Today. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm lucky. He's 14 years old today. Okay. Okay. Um. So I'm not going to ask any questions, but I do have some. Some documents to read to you. Okay, so I gotta read you your implied consent, okay? So, warning, it's gonna be a pretty long read, okay? So, if, if you can just pay attention, please. Warning, you are under arrest for RCW 46.61.502 or RCW 46.61.504 driving or being in actual physical control of a motor vehicle while under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. Further, you are now being advised to submit to a test of your breath which consists of two separate samples of your breath taken independently to determine alcohol concentration. Before I finish the rest of this, can I please check your mouth again? And then let the breathe You're now, you're now advised that you have the right to refuse this breath test and that if you refused, A, 
your, license, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be revoked or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least one year, and B, your refusal to submit to this test may be used against you in a criminal trial. Two, you are further advised that if you submit to this breath test and the test is administered, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be suspended, revoked, or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least 90 days if you are A, age 21 or over and the test indicates the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0 0.08 or more, or you are in violation of RCW 46.61.502, driving under influence, or 46.61.504, physical control of a vehicle under the influence or B, under the age of 21, and the test indicates the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0 0.02 or more, or you're in violation of RCW 46.61.502, driving under the influence, or RCW 46.61.504, physical control of a vehicle under the influence. If a driver's license permit or privilege to drive is suspended, revoked, or denied, you may be eligible to immediately apply mm -hmm. for an ignition interlock driver's license. You have the right to additional tests administered by any qualified person of your choosing. If your driver's license is suspended or revoked, your commercial license, if any, will be disqualified. Um, has this implied consent been read to you? Candy. Candy. Candy, has that been read to you? Yes. Okay, can you sign here, please? sign here at the X. I dropped the very last. That's okay. Okay. Will you submit to a breath test? Sorry, like I, like I told that dirty, I was like... Will you submit to a breath test, Candy? Just <laughs> please be patient with me. Okay. I'm trying to get past my PSD. Well, what's your phone number while we're waiting? My phone number for what? <laughs> Just your, your phone number in general. 360. Hmm? Three zero five seven one nine zero. Seven one eight zero. Nope. Mm -hmm. Seven. Three zero five. Yep. Seven one nine zero. Nine zero. Okay. Have you thought about whether or not you'd be willing to submit to a breath test? Advise me to. So you will? I can't I can't pressure you either way, it's entirely up to you. So you don't want to submit to a breath test? No. Okay. <laughs> You're okay. The last time I was here was before my son was born and he's 14. Mm -hmm. And the officer was so mean to me. I hope I'm, don't, I'm not coming off as mean. No, I know, I know. I, I, that's what I said. <laughs> I'm trying to and, remind myself and, this is not it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't like talking with people with disrespect like that. I, I hope I don't, I don't, okay. I know, I know, I know, but I have most respect for the officers, but that one. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And then being here again. Totally. And that's all because of who my kid's father is. 
It was a terrible experience. Mm-hmm. Because he even threatened to throw me down on the ground and make me miscarry my baby. Mm-hmm. That didn't happen. That, I, was, that was the last time you were here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm fortunate my son is now 14. And <laughs> it just keeps playing back in my head and I'm like, <laughs> no, this isn't it. <laughs> no. No, this is not it. Did my daughter give you my phone? I'd be super cute. Hmm? Do I have my phone? You do have your phone. I have it. And it'll get powered off if I get booked. booked. Heck yeah. out of it first? I <laughs> hmm? I know phone numbers. You know phone numbers? I guess like not remembering well, phone numbers is a millennial thing. My my main people I know. But you gotta know the main people. I know like my brother, my, my parents. Daughter, my daughter's phone number. My parents I don't know their mm -hmm. Only because they just <laughs> That's a different generation, right? Like I was well, phones no, were kind of coming into vogue when the whole thing is I, I moved with my parents because so they can retire. Mm hmm Because I'm the responsible one in the area. Mm-hmm. You will be getting booked into jail tonight, okay? Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. You can't even just like book me and let me go. 
No, Walken kind of takes DUIs pretty seriously. Is it okay to prop that door open? Yeah, you stir it up? Yeah, it's fine. I don't ride, I don't, I'm not a fighter. <laughs> No, you've been really chill with me. I appreciate you. <laughs> so there's a few things that Washington takes very seriously. They take DUIs very seriously because they don't want people getting injured on the road from DUI drivers, and then they take domestic violence crimes very seriously. Right. So in this case, this is a DUI. Um, in in Whatcom County, I've it's a mandatory arrest. Domestic violence get let go and. In, They're both in, in let go. <laughs> in Whatcom County, it's a mandatory arrest. Okay. <laughs> so, for right now, since you've been so relaxed, I'm going to keep you unrestrained, but before you go into jail, I have to, I have to hang up you, okay? But if you, you can make it relaxed, so it's so Okay, if you can forward. walk with me, we're going to go walk out this way and hang right. right. Like I said, can I pick up my lash? If you want, yeah. Garbage? Yeah, you can leave it there, it gets cleaned up. I don't care. Okay. Well, I appreciate you. It's still just... Okay. My DNA. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'm going to the right. And then we're going to go in this green room right here, okay? And then someone will be here to help you out. All right? Hey, how you doing? Under contact and recording. 